It's time for a Lumicrate unboxing. <laughs> okay, so I got my Lumicrate today. I'm so excited. And as you guys know, I have been working with Lumicrate and I have a bunch of links and codes down below. You can use the code ALLY5 for 5% 5 off either a three month subscription or a six month subscription. And if you saw my last Illumicrate unboxing, you know how much I absolutely loved that box. If you can see in my background, there's the Court of Miracles copy right there, right there. That's the one I got and it was beautiful. I love it so much. And so many of the things that came in that box, I still continue to use and I loved it. And I think actually my favorite part of that box was not only the really beautiful copy of uh, Court of Miracles, but also the bookmark I got in that box. I literally have used it every single time I've read a book that was like a physical copy and I just love it. I think it's amazing and it's so beautiful. It's a Serpent and Dove bookmark and I absolutely love it. It's like a metal bookmark with a little like tassel at the end. So cute. Anyway, this is the July box. This is the We Are The Resistance box. Here is the um, spoiler card. So it has all the stuff on the inside and so cute. And also August's, I can't say August's, August's, and also August's theme is Identity Crisis. So that'll be super exciting as well. And we're gonna take out all of like the packaging stuff. They package up these boxes so well, and I love that. So the first thing is in this box that I'm going to open. I have like these like little kid scissors that like do not work at all, but it's what we have right now. So opening this up, Ooh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so wait, this is kind of like a little, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So this is like a really cute little like decorative piece and it says a handbook of celestial observations on the front. That's what it looks like. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, it's made of like, you know, ceramic. And on the spine, it says Celestial Conversation, Stars, Planets, Nebulas, and then it says Illumicrate at the very bottom. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, this is going immediately on my bookshelf. And then on the back, it says A Comprehensive Guide to Viewing the Galaxy and Unlocking the Secrets of the Stars. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely flippin' gorgeous. This is perfect. It's totally gonna go up on my shelves and I think it'll fit perfectly with my aesthetic. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. And it has like this little like top and I feel like you could probably put like bookmarks in this. Like I think that'd be really cute. Let me see what the spoiler card says. Okay so this is a Celestial Observations Ceramic Book Pot and I guess it is kind of a pot. It just seems really narrow to put like a plant in but I would probably put like bookmarks in it. And this was designed by Chatty Nora at Chatty Nora. And it says every space rebel needs a guide to the stars and a sneaky place to store mission critical items. So yeah, I think definitely bookmarks would fit perfectly in this little pot holder thing. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These are little like sunglasses like this. That's what they look like. You can see my camera. And then on the side, it says Rebel Scum. I don't know if it'll like focus at all. Like focus on the Rebel Scum. Look at how cute that is. And then on this side, it has like a little TIE Fighter and an X-Wing. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute that is. I'm going to try them on. They're not going to look cute because they're not like the style that I typically go for. And I have like a wider face and these seem pretty narrow, but we'll try them on anyway. There you go. Those are what the sunglasses look like on. Those are so flippin' cute. I love these. Okay, so let's see. Rebel Scum Sunglasses designed by Hey Atlas Creative at Hey Atlas Creative. And it says, be proud of your rebel status and look wicked cool with this pair of sunnies. And I think they're so cute. Okay, so the next thing is a little journal and it says, never allow yourself to believe you should be silent. And that's a quote from a Samantha Shannon book. And this is really gorgeous. I love the art on the cover. I think it's so pretty. And I actually really like that the pages are completely blank on the inside. So there's no lines, no dots, no grid or anything, just blank pages. And I think that's so cute. I was actually just looking at journals recently and I was just like, 
and I just had a feeling like don't buy a journal yet and I'm really glad I didn't because now I have my own journal right here and it's so cute I've actually never read a Samantha Shannon book before but now I'm kind of intrigued I have one of her books on my shelf and I can't remember what it's called it's the bone season that's the one I have from her and I've just never read it. I really want to read it though because I was looking at reviews of it and it seems like a book that I would really enjoy. Okay, so we have these character cards and these are from um, An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. I haven't really finished that book. I did read it and then DNF'd it and then gave it away and then decided I really wanted to finish it and then bought it again. And so now I need to read it. <laughs> and, but I do know who these characters are. There's um, Elias. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, but Elias right here. It's really cute. I love this card. And then we have Helene. The art is really, really beautiful. And then we have Laia. Leia? I don't know how to pronounce her name either. And then I believe this says Marius. I don't know. See, I haven't really finished the book. I'm sorry, but this art is really beautiful. And I love all these little character cards. They're so cute. Look at them. I love them. So the Bone Season Notebook is artwork by Carly AF and the, her at is carlydraws.illustration and it says keep your resistance plans in one place with this Bone Season inspired notebook featuring Paige and Jackson. Don't know anything about that book but it seems pretty cool. And then the Ember in the Ashes character card set is artwork by Michaela Cacciatore. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I'm so sorry. At Michaela Cacciatore. <laughs> we just had to include gorgeous character cards from one of our favorite series about rebellion in this box. And I think that's super cute. I love that. And then I think the rest is stuff relating to either the book or the box or whatever, you know. So we're going to go ahead and go with. Here's a cute little keychain. Okay, we're going to try to open this keychain and it's so cute. I don't have a car so I don't have keys but I can definitely hang this up on my little um, cork board over here. I think that'd be super cute and this says Baron's Books and Baubles. That's so cute if it'll focus. There we go. Focusing. Look at how cute. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. It's like absolutely gorgeous. So I'm definitely going to like hang that up somewhere. I think that might be really cute. And then we'll go ahead and do the monthly enamel pin as well. And this is so cute. I love it so much. It says Queen Kills King and it's kind of in this like blue, pink, and purple colors. So I'm also wondering if this possibly has anything to do with the bisexual flag. It might. I don't know. But isn't that so cute? I love it. So we're going to go ahead and do the book. I love their editions of books. I think they do such a good job. Sometimes when I see other book box editions of like certain books, I'm kind of like not into it. But for the past couple of months, I've really liked Illumicrate's like special editions. So this one is no um, exception to that. I really, really like it and I just need to open it to show it to you guys. <laughs> so the book for this month is one that I actually haven't heard about really. Like I think I heard something about it, but not very much. And this is called Seven Devils by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb. And look at how pretty this cover is. First of all, I love all of, like the purples and pinks and blues. And here is the spine. Here is the back. I feel like it's focusing on something behind me, but that's just like annoying. And then the edges are painted pink. That's so beautiful. Like I love that. Oops. And then we also have a little card in the inside of the book where the authors have signed their names. So that's really cool as well. And this is just a really gorgeous edition. I love sprayed edges. I think they're so beautiful. And I love that they're pink. That's so cute. And I'm pretty sure this is a sci-fi, so I'm very excited. I don't typically read sci-fi, but I do need to get into it because I do like watching sci-fi. Well, I like watching Star Wars. I'm a Star Wars fan. So if this is anything similar to Star Wars, I will probably really enjoy it. So the inside of the book says, when loyalty to the Empire is programmed from birth, resistance is futile until now. After Eris faked her death, she thought she had left her old life as Princess Discordia, heir to the galaxy's most ruthless empire, behind. But joining the Novan... Novan... 
But joining the Novantean resistance, an organization opposed to the Empire's voracious expansion, throws her right back into the fray. Resistance fighter pilot Klo has been given a mission, infiltrating the Empire spaceship ferrying deadly cargo to gain vital intelligence. A task made all the more difficult when she's forced to partner with an old enemy, Princess Discordia herself, Eris. They discover more than they bargained for on the ship fugitives with first-hand knowledge of the Empire's inner workings. With this information, these women might just bring the Empire to its knees, but the clock is ticking. Eris's brother, D Damocles, new heir to the throne, plans to disrupt a peace summit where the only remaining free alien people ensuring the Empire's total domination. Unless this band of unlikely rebels stops him, millions will die. So this book sounds super interesting and it does kind of have those like Star Wars keywords in there like Empire and Resistance and stuff like that. So super excited to read this. I think this will definitely go somewhere on my TBR at some point. And on the back it says every war has its heroes, this one has rebels. So I'm super excited to read this. I think it'll be super interesting. And then we also have a couple of other just like little things in this box. There's this really cute pin and it just has like this um, bird on the top of it. If I can get it to like focus. I don't know. We just gotta focus it. There we go. Has a little bird on it. Super cute. And there's also a little bookmark from Sweet Black Waves that's by Christina Perez. And there we go. There's the bookmark. That's what it looks like. It has all like the covers of the books on it. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Focus, please. There we go. And that's what the bookmark looks like. All right, so that was this month's box. Well, actually July's box, We Are the Resistance. And I will leave all necessary links, codes, whatever down below. Part two of the Illumicrate unboxing video. <laughs> So I decided to make this video into two parts. The first part is the unboxing for July and this is now the unboxing for August. And I felt like it was just a good idea to kind of put these two in the same video and I'm so excited to unbox the August box. I am just like so pumped. I always love the Illumicrate boxes and this month is Identity Crisis. So this was the theme. So August's theme was Identity Crisis and I'm so excited to get into this box and see what is in here. So the first thing that I'm pulling out is, I think this is a little box, just like a little decorative storage box. And it says on the front, knowing too much of your future is never a good thing. And it's in blue and like a bronze. And it's very cute. I think it might be upside down. Okay, yeah, it is upside down. There we go. <laughs> and that's the back. So the front says, if my life is going to mean anything, I have to live it myself. And that's what the front looks like. And then you open it up and that's what the inside looks like. Very cool. And the inside says, a kind act can sometimes be as powerful as a sword. And that was the Percy Jackson and the Olympians inspired book shaped tin designed by Chatty Nora at Chatty Nora. And it says, keep your identity under wraps by storing your God's given gifts in this handy book shaped tin. So the next thing in here is really, really cute. And it's in this plastic. I should probably take it out because it's probably really annoying. And this is an Illuminae inspired pin hoop. And it says, I am not, and then I am and it's all purples and blues and pinks and it's very pretty. I, as you guys know, store all of my pins on my cork board, but this is a really cute option if you don't have a cork board or if you don't have anywhere else that you store your pins and I think it's really, really cute. And so the artwork for that pin hoop is by Felfira Moon Designs at Felfira Moon Designs, probably on Instagram. And it says, featuring a quote from Aiden, this Illuminae inspired pin hoop is out of this world. I've never read Illuminae. I owned it at some point. I don't think I own it anymore. I think I unhauled it. And I don't know, I'm just not a sci-fi person. Like sometimes I can get into sci-fi, it really depends. But that one, like I started trying to read it and I got so overwhelmed and I'm like, oh, I can't read this. <laughs> but I know so many people love the series and just like absolutely die for it. So I think that's a really cute little addition to this box for Illuminae fans. So the next thing I'm pulling out of this box is the monthly enamel pin and it says World Walker. It's very, very pretty. 
I can't wait to put this on my cork board. I love it so much. And then the next thing in this box is something I've never seen in a book box before. And this is nail cuticle oil and it says the Huntress and it smells like lemon, geranium, and cursed forests. There we go. The Huntress nail cuticle oil. So that's what that looks like. Very, very cool. And this is the Huntress nail oil created by Madame Alchemy at Madame Alchemy. And it says, keep your nails in perfect condition with this gorgeous oil inspired by We Hunt the Flame, which is so cool. I have not read We Hunt the Flame. I do own it. I really want to read it. It's definitely one that's like up on my TBR. And I think that a nail oil is like a really cute idea. So the next item in this box is a print and it's really, really pretty. I don't know who these characters are. I don't know what it's from, if it'll focus. There we go. I don't know who any of these characters are from, but this print is gorgeous. And I love how reflective it is. It's really, really cool. And I don't know, I really like the artwork on this. I think it's really beautiful. So it says it's a Mistborn print artwork by Alice Maria Power at Alice Maria Power. This stunning holographic print features all the key players from the series. So I've also never read Mistborn as well. I don't think I've read any of the books mentioned in this book box except for Percy Jackson. And I think that's probably because I don't really read a lot of sci-fi, so I just like don't read these books. Except for We Hunt the Flame, like that's the only one that's fantasy and I'm like I need to read that at some point and it just has to happen. <laughs> so the very last thing in here is of course the book and I love that it came in this little like protective dust bag sort of thing. It's so cute and so we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Reveal, <laughs> if it won't get caught on the thing. Ah! <laughs> Reveal and it's the space between worlds by Micaiah Johnston and I am so excited to read this book. I'm pretty sure the person that I heard talking about this book recently was Joel from Fictional Fates. So I'm pretty sure that he mentioned this book on his channel. I was just watching his video like a couple of hours ago and I feel like he mentioned it. And this cover, this entire edition is just so beautiful. I love all of like the bright purple, almost like pink stripes that are going down. I love the profile of the cover model. On the back it says, of the 380 realities that have been unlocked, Kara is dead in all but eight. So that's what the back looks like. It's literally so beautiful. And then of course there are these like pink purple sprayed edges. It looks more purple in real life but it's definitely pink on the camera. It says eccentric genius Adam Bosch has created the multiverse and discovered a way to travel to parallel earths. There's just one problem. No one can visit a world where their counterpart is still alive. Enter Kara. Of all 380 realities that have been unlocked, Kara is dead in all but eight. Born in the wastelands outside the wealthy and walled off Wiley City, Kara has fought her entire life just to survive. So when she's offered a job traveling the multiverse and a safe place in the city to call home, she's willing to do anything to keep it that way. But then one of her doppelgangers dies under mysterious circumstances and Kara is plunged into a new world with an old secret. What she discovers will connect her past and future in ways she never could have imagined and reveal her own role in a plot that endangers not just her Earth, but the entire multiverse. A stunning science fiction debut, The Space Between Worlds is both a cross-dimensional adventure and a powerful examination of identity, privilege, and belonging. So that sounds really, really intriguing. It's not a very long book. It's about 300 and something pages, maybe 327 pages. And I'm really, really excited about this book. I literally, <laughs> literally this book is not on my radar. So I think that's what I really like about Illumicrate's recent picks has been like a lot of them have just not been on my radar. I haven't heard about them. So it's really exciting to kind of have those books, especially in a book box. And I'm definitely super excited to try to get into this book, even though it is sci-fi. I am very wary of sci-fi, but I definitely want to get into it more. So I'm hoping that this will be like a good entry level book. 
All right, so that was the entire Illumicrate unboxing for August, and I absolutely loved this box. I think it was super, super cool, and I'm so excited about the book for this month. I am really, really pumped to read it. If you're interested in getting an Illumicrate subscription, you can use my code ALLY5 for 5% off a three or six month subscription. I will have all the links and codes down below in the description. And I hope you guys like this double unboxing for Illumicrate. I really love this book subscription service. I think it's so great and I always love all of the little trinkets that you get in the boxes. I love the book picks. I just think that they're so fantastic. And I totally recommend Illumicrate if you are looking for a new book subscription service. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Ooh.